Hi everyone, welcome back to another simple bricks tutorial. My name is David from Devden Web Dev. In a previous video, we looked at how to create a form where we had a required select field and that field had a placeholder text that was using Elementor forms. But in today's video, we'll be doing the same thing in bricks using the powerful pro forms from BricksForge. So you see, if we try to submit without filling in this gender, you get an error. And the beauty of it is that this error is customizable. You can put in whatever text that is suited for your need. But once the user chooses an option and tries to submit, then the form gets submitted successfully. So if this is something that interests you, then stick around and I'll show you how simple and easy it is to create this form. So here we are on the Bricks Edit page. The element we'll be using is the Pro Forms, which comes with Bricks Forge, a premium add-on for Bricks, but that also gives you access to a ton of other interesting features, especially for animations like GSAP and 3D modeling and other things. But the widget we're going to be using is the Pro Forms, which is quite powerful and is nestable. So what do I mean by that? You can literally add in whatever you want, like a section, you can add in a heading element, you can add in whatever element you want into the form and everything will be within the Pro Forms wrapper. You can also have access to a ton of different actions and different things like web hooks and different submit options. You can update the database, update taxonomies and so many other things. But what we're focusing on now is trying to get the select field. So I'll just delete this one that's there already and then we'll recreate it. So just go ahead and click on the plus icon, choose the select field. Then let me just rename it to gender select. What this does now is now creates some other options underneath it. So first, let me give the wrapper itself some attributes like the general. I'll say maybe the ID should be gender. The label should be gender as is. Then the value, you can leave it blank. Then we want it to be a required field, so it should be required. Then next, we're going to start adding in the options. It's also very powerful that if you have like a loop you want to use, so you can just activate the query loop and use that to loop through the options. But this one, we're going to be adding them statically. So the first option is, let's say, male. Then the second option, be female. Then we'll add in another option for the placeholder text. So option, this time we'll call it, please enter your gender. The key thing you have to do here is just put a blank space, so a space. So the value is a blank space. And that's what we're going to be using for the placeholder because a blank option is an invalid option. So that will not be able to send the form if that option is there. So that's why we're going to use that as the placeholder. Then we're just adding a couple of attributes to this option, the first option. Let me just rename it so it's easy to remember that this is the placeholder option. So for that option, go to the style tab, then attributes, and we'll just give it three attributes. First, we say we want it to be selected. Then we want it to be disabled. And finally, we say we want it to be hidden from screen readers. We don't want screen readers to read this because it's not an option, it's just a placeholder. So let's save it and then preview it on the front end. Yeah, when you see now, you cannot select that. It's just going to be like a placeholder. 
but you cannot select it. You can only select the male and female, and that's what you can submit. And then to add in your custom validation, you can go back and under the wrapper itself, you come to the content, then you go over to validation, then add item, choose required. This is where you fill in whatever information you want. So you say, please enter your, and that's that. So then you say you want it to be shown, then just select all of these. You can now style it how you want. If you want to increase the size, you can do all of that here. And this is just going to be what is going to be displayed when there's an error trying to send. So let's save it. Just refresh it. And now, so when we try to send, submit, you get the first error. So we don't need to fill in the phone number, the name, we can just give you a random name, last name. So now when you try to submit like this, you get this error, because that's the error that we just created. And then once we choose one of the options and try to submit, it goes successfully. And yeah, that's it. That's how powerful this form builder is. You don't have to add in any JavaScript or any kind of thing. Everything can be done directly from the builder. That's how powerful the pro forms is. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, share the video, write your comments, and please in the comment section below, whatever other part of the pro forms that you want me to touch, please do leave them in the comment section. I'm not so good with animations, so please do not ask me for animations, but any other thing you want, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, bye.